Hey my fellow guys and girls, welcome to another quick tutorial um, about 3ds Max and working with angled floor plans. Something like this you will receive in reality a lot more often than, than what they actually show you in tutorials like random floor plan tutorials, interior tutorials where they just take um, a rectangular shape floor plan. This is not actually what you always get and what you will quickly find when you work with these kinds of plans where everything is slightly distorted you will have difficulties on working with them. So today we're gonna discover together on multiple ways or some of the ways that work for me to save a little bit of time and uh, just to help working with these angles. So, something as you can see I already drew here, I can actually delete and delete in this. So, what we got here is failure in community. No, that's not what I want to say. Just l l see what's going to happen when I draw a basic box inside my floor plan here. You can see that it is a pretty box but it just doesn't fit inside here and this color is annoying me sorry okay so this box it looks beautiful but it just doesn't fit in my floor plan here as you can see so what are my ways to let's say I want to draw the floor of the bar of my counter here. I cannot just do this and make the height, let's say, I don't know, 12. I'm working in centimeter. Yeah, you can see if I go to wireframe, this is not working at all here. So what, what possibilities do we have to create some, something like this? Well, there are multiple, of course. One way would be to draw the heavy seen I have a lot of objects hidden that you don't want to see how messy it is. So, okay, um, let's say I want to draw my counter, this one here, packaging, just an extrude. And here we go, that's what we got. So, actually, let me undo this. So, this one is already quite good, as you can see. If I set my, my, um, my gizmo to local, you will see that nothing happens at all. That's, that's pretty sad, because I actually maybe want to rotate my... my my box in this case or if I rotate now you will find that we will go have like a beautiful mass let's say 90 degrees and you can get up ending up with something like this and you want, don't want to do this in any way so what you can also do is align this box like this, I'm using normal align, sacity, and here, good. This is quite a good solution now that we have this. We can work with, let's say here, set this to local for this one, and we can rotate just as it will be our grid. Talking about grid, there is an option here under helpers grid. I'm activating auto grid for this one. And let's say tack, I'm drawing my grid now on this aligned aligned box. Or actually let me just draw it here. And let's not let's not use auto grid for this matter of this tutorial. And let's use a line, maybe this one, oops, 
let's use a line to here pivot center apply let's see what's happened t7 f3 this one didn't help me so much but let's use let's use and align orientation actually that's what we need to now let's see what happens you can see that our miraculously our grid did align to this box as if we wouldn't have any other problems here so let's figure out what we could do with this grid now well we can right click and choose activate grid and you can see it got tiled in a little in a smaller way and now as I'm as I'm drawing a box or just anything you will see that it is already beautifully beautifully miraculously aligned to whatever this angle may be. So I'm gonna go here and convert this to edit table poly if you want. Use this vertex and this vertex and use local no use grid and suck it be have it to here and I think it's too high still so I'm gonna First of all, I'm going to move it straight down to here. Yep. And now you could use the upper vertex and use this and these two and set it to a more specific height, um, which would be here. On the Z, 12. So this is 12. If we like to do so. What other possibilities we have? One more really handy tool is go under helpers, tape, draw a tape, activate snap, draw a tape from here to here. And now you could use these kinds of tapes or let's say we have another angle here we just draw an angle a uh, tape line here which is also really handy because it gives me length diameters and other specifics of, of this wall and i can now let's say pick a new gizmo and just pick this tape object and now you will, what we will find is that if I place a box, um, let's say I want to rotate this box, but I want to rotate it with using the parameter or the alignment of this grid, so I just picked here this tape grid that I created, and I use rotate. And now it's rotating around the axis of this beautiful tape measuring tool. Yeah, it's also really handy for measuring. Um, talking about measuring, there are some other really handy tools that you can use to measure objects. For example, yeah, like I said, make pig measure, pig measurements. But, well, we, well, is it actually correct? Well, we have to find out because our, it's just giving us here our x, y dimensions. But what we actually want here for your uh, stored angled object is to use maybe a grid under help, a tape, I want to say, under helpers. To measure the exact distance, 500, and you can even change it. Okay. 
Well, that's so far some things I, I usually use um, to create objects. What's really handy too is like if we, if we want to, um, let's say, have a front view, and we're seeing this like so, you can see that it's actually not a front view of this object because they were created with another grid. And the front is, is considered to the global um, grid setting. So what you can do is go to front here and extended viewports, grid, and choose front here. Exactly. If you aligned it correctly, it should be perfectly right here. And you can actually draw stop from here and it will be perfectly in tune with, your, with the rest of your beautiful counter <laughs> sorry um, yeah you could you could work around here so this is the ways I use maybe there are some other guys let me know in the comments below and I'm pointing with my finger right now but you can see but actually Thank you.